Hi, welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. My name is Donna from In a Pickle Knitting, and today is December 11th, 2018. I'm here today with a short vlog that has a children's literature book related to my theme, 12 Days of Christmas, and also um, a felt craft and some odds and ends. So I am using this book by um, Helen Heidel, or Heidel, The 12 Days of Christmas, the story behind the favorite Christmas song. And the story behind is, um, some people say that it um, was symbolic to um, lots of Christian related themes and was intended to help children remember their catechism and things about their faith. So the 11th day is um, in this version, uh, it's 11 pipers piping and that might be different um, in different versions that you've heard. I've heard different ones as well, but this particular version, um, the symbolism fits and she explains it that if you remember the story about the Pied Piper who came into town and was uh, playing his pipe and what happened was the children followed him. And that's what the 11 pipers are about. They are piping the word of Jesus as spoken and um, the 11 pipers are the 11 apostles. Now, of course, we know there were 12, but as he was betrayed by Judas, that leaves 11 to um, send out the word. So that is what 11 pipers are doing. And here is the illustration in her book. And then I like that she always includes the scripture at the end where um, this is, um, where she it's related to. So books today for children. I have three today. I should have been watching more carefully and doing two a couple of the days because I've got three today and three tomorrow, but they are short. Um, the first one, I don't know how widely available it is. It is a little book called The 12 Days of Christmas, and it has an audio CD, which has the song as well as others. And um, just some traditional Christmas songs, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, um, Oh Christmas Tree, and some others. The um, text of the book goes only to the 12 Days of Christmas, and so it's nice because children can follow along and have the pictures to um, help them. So there you've got the two turtle doves. Now what it does not do is go back through with the repeating verses. What it would do is from the 12, and there, then you could go backwards and it would take you through. So um, this is um, just a handy little book illustrated by Dorothy Stott. It's published by Growing Minds with Music, Twin Sisters, Growing Minds with Music, and it's uh, read and sing along. So um, I don't even remember where I got this. I've had it for a really long time. The next one is by Greg Pizzoli, and it is the 12 Days of Christmas. And when you first look at it, uh, when I first looked at it, it this elephant really gave me the impression being the elephant from Elephant and Piggy, uh, a Mo Willems uh, character set, and lots and lots of books about them. When I first looked at it, I thought, is that elephant from Elephant and Piggy? But it's not, a different author, just the um, illustration is similar. And this book, of course, just takes you through the 12 days of Christmas, and the pages get more and more um, Crowded. So let me go to where we've got all the way to the 11th day. They've got everything on there. And they aren't the typical things. It's, um, well, it, it is, but when, I mean, like the Lords of Leaping, I think, are frogs. So it is the, the traditional verse, but the uh, picture is unusual. Now, you can see on the 12th day, they're not looking very happy imagining the place is going to be full of uh critters it each thing then ha has its own page so 12 drummers drumming 11 pipers piping so it goes through like that very simple book and the next one is a um, gorgeously illustrated book by Laurel Long you can see that partridge in a pear tree Let me get the glare off for you and see how beautiful that is um, I found her art to be just amazing. She is an artist for sure. And very different. 
Also, if you'd like a book that has some really gorgeous illustrations, you might like this. And there is an artist note at the end, which is rather lengthy, telling about, um, you know, again, the, the story. And this is also a version that has the lyrics and the music to it. So, The 12 Days of Christmas by Laurel Long. So those are our uh, children's literature books to go along with the 11 Pipers Piping, and we need to see our felt ornament. The pattern is by MMM Crafts. Um, you can find her on Etsy. You can find her, um, just Google MMM Crafts Blogspot. If you see Blogspot, you can, uh, it's a link to the patterns there. Um, and she then recommends a couple, two different um, purveyors of the type felt that you need, uh, felt on the fly and Benzie designs, which are also both on Etsy. So you can um, just Google those things. You'll be able to find the patterns. And I think I put links back on either Vlogmas one or two. So here is my little Piper. And I'll turn this way so you can see the front of his face. And this is the front of his jacket. Or this is a tunic I think and this is his coat and um, I think my favorite detail is this little thing across the back the little belt with the uh, French knot buttons there he, he also this little feather in his cap is um, really cute I think so this is our Piper piping and he's holding his pipe it's got a little bit of um, she said to put stuffing and then maybe fuzz from a yellow pipe cleaner, but I had some yellow roving and so I just put that up there because it, it blended in. So here's our 11 Piper piping and he's, uh, I think he's pretty cute. So um, I've had a couple questions that I'll just address um, right here. I've, I've responded um, when I've seen the questions. Um, well, like, what am I going to be doing with um, the minis from my advent calendars? The um, one from Adelaide Cottage, I don't know. I don't know. I had no idea when I ordered it. I, you know, you don't know what they're going to look like. And so what I'm going to do is wait till I'm all done and look at everything and think about it. Um, so that, that doesn't have any kind of a project in mind. Um, the ones from um, Ellie at Craft House Magic. She sent me those in a swap that we did, I think back in October, and I didn't have um, any idea when I first got them, but they were wrapped up and I thought, I'm just gonna open them for Advent. And um, so I am putting those into my um, Granny Square, not Granny Square, Mitered Square Blanket, the coziest memory pattern, uh, the Kemper Ray pattern. And uh, so far I have put all the ones that I've opened. She had 14, so I'll put all 14 of those into my blanket. And then I'll probably put 10 more from, I have a full uh, bag just full of um, beautiful bits to put into that blanket. So I will finish up 24 in this month just to um, have, because I have 12 going in columns right now. So just so that I get um, two complete columns. And then I'll see about if I want to add any more right now or just put it away again for a while, which is what I usually do, work on it and then put it away. And um, what came with the um, So Sweet Violet, um, I hadn't thought about it until I saw the, the full skein and the mini. And I'm thinking maybe socks. Well, it just looks like, you know, you've got the small one that could be heels, toes, and cuffs, and the larger one, and it just matches the back so perfectly. I am going to include, um, at the very end, there will be a photograph of all of the things from the So Sweet Violet Advent, because hers was 12 days. It included the project bag, and then 12 things to open. So I've finished and opened everything, so I did take a picture. And the reason I've been sharing these is because I know before I ever heard of an ad knitting advent calendar or thought of buying one that I just wondered, you know, what came in it. So I think it's kind of nice to see someone's before you make that investment as they're not, you know, inexpensive. They're priced ap appropriately for sure because I feel like that you definitely get your money's worth. It's just that, you know, it is a lot that you're buying at once. So it's a little pricey. 
So I thought if you saw it, then you'd know whether or not that's something that you're interested in spending your money on for next year. So as I said, I have a picture at the very end and I'll just leave it on for a while so you can just kind of recap what um, I've, I've shown you each day, uh, things that as I've opened them. But just to put that at the very end, so if you're interested at all, and if you're not, once you see that, I think that's the, the last thing. So I, that will be the last thing. I haven't even done it, so. But I will put that at the end, so that if you're not interested, you can um, cut off there, because you've watched me open everything every day. So, uh, tomorrow will be the last day. I'm working tomorrow, and um, that means that I will not be home until after four or around four, and my grandson will still be here, so I won't be able to work on this till later. I will, you know, God willing and the creek don't rise, I will get it up tomorrow, but it probably will be late. I'm going to try and get a few things done today as I edit this one. Go ahead and get a few of the things that don't change that I know will be there, at least get um, a little bit there. And, um, and ready so that I can have a bit of a head start. But thank you so much for watching and um, um, commenting and, and giving me uh, likes on these. I really, really appreciate um, all of you watching every day. It's been a lot of fun and I can't wait till tomorrow to show you that last day. Bye. Mm -hmm.